Hi, hey boys, Trying Games here, and welcome back to Kuwait. Now, I know this isn't Kuwait Part 2, but it is something just as good. Today, we are doing five tips for Kuwait. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Kuwait is a difficult map. It is by no means a PEI or Washington. A lot of things on this map want to kill you, including a floppa. All right, now on to the tips. Now, first tip, let's talk about the bank. You should always visit this place if you can. It has a chance to spawn stacks of dinars like in this clip right here, where I found pretty much 100 Kuwait dinars right off the bat. Like you could just be spawning a new. However, there is a vault that holds a considerably large amount of money. Now, what you need to do to access this vault is to break it. Usually the most common way you can do it is through plastic explosives. You need two of those to blow it up. Those can be expensive. Uh, I found out that you can use electric rounds to break it open. I think it's like three, four mags to actually get it, the vault door down. So uh, the vault can be worth it. The lowest amount of money I got from the vault was 1.4K dinars. And the highest amount I got was 2.9. So the average amount of dinars you should get from the vault is about 1.95K, which is still very good. I remember doing like a whole like a whole bunch of test quests my balance never got above like 700 so this is a very very good way to get money when npcs start offering better and better gear to you the more you progress you're gonna want to have money with you money is important now tip number two is having yourself a fuel canister. Now, in every map, there always seems to be the same trend where there's a craftable gas canister and a refined one. In Kuwait, we have three canisters. We have the palm, the regular one, and we have the jerry can. These all have different amounts of fuel. Palm is most likely gonna be your friend in the very early stages of the game. This thing only requires five fiber to make. The problem is, it isn't really good. It only holds 75 fuel, while the, reg while the refined one holds 500, and the jerry can holds 4,000. Now, basically what that means is you're gonna be filling up your car a ton with this canister. But on the bright side, this thing is better than nothing. You can at least fuel up your cars and go places. It'll just take you longer and you can't have any fuel in reserve for when you do run out. Tip number three is invest in Dogecoin. No, I'm just kidding. Invest in your survival skill. This skill is incredibly good on this map. Well, you know, on this map, your thirst goes down slightly faster than normal and it will go down even faster during a dust storm. It can be difficult to find proper qualities of food that can actually sustain you. To max the survival skill, you need 150 XP. Now, of course, not every player that spawns will have 150 XP, but just plopping a few levels in, like maybe into level 2 or 3, will definitely help you out a lot. Your thirst will drain down slightly less. It can really make a difference to whether you will survive or die. Now on to the third tip is that cucumbers are a very important food. Now they're not needed, but they are very helpful in terms of having just enough to eat. The location that we're at is Al Abdali, which is a farm, which is a farm region up north. And now to get these cucumbers, you have to ascend up on this giant stock. Now I have max parkour level, so it is much easier for me to get up here. But for people who are just starting out and want to conserve their XP for more important perks such as the survival perk I mentioned in the previous step it might be a bit difficult to get up here so don't necessarily have to go up here but you can go over here and then just start ascending and then climb and then you just get up here and then that's how you do it without you know having max parkour level now once you're up here you also have ranger spawn so this can spawn ranger weaponry and stuff so anyway there are a total of five cucumbers there's one up here so let's grab this one that one that one and this one now you can do two things with these cucumbers you can make a cucumber club which is a pretty good weapon but we're not going to focus on that we're going to focus on this craft where you can take these giant mutated cucumbers and turn them into smaller edible cucumbers one large one gives six and these provide 15 food 10 water and plus two immunity now yeah you now you can't eat them but a very but a very good thing you can do is creating a garden 
garden salad. This thing gives 50 food and 95 water and plus 5 immunity. This food is also ridiculously cheap to craft, only requiring a cucumber, a carrot, lettuce, and a tomato. No cooking skill required to make it. All you have to do is just have farming. The ways you can get seeds for those is through just classic farm locations such as Al Abdali or Al Wafra. Now for the other way to get the seeds is you go to safe zone, you complete the farm, you complete the farming quest for the farmer and he will sell you seeds for 10 Kuwait dinars each. Tip number five is to prioritize oil as soon as you can. Now what oil can be turned into is plastic and plastic is a very utilitarian item. It is heavily involved in progression, uh, accessing the dead zone, as well as just quality of life items that can really help you out such as the charge, the upgraded talon, the flask, the jerry can, and much much more. Now a place you would go for oil is the oil fields of course. This place has around 50 barrels of oil, each barrel having a chance to spawn one to three. So you're bound to get at least 60 bottles of oil. Now to convert that oil into plastic, you can either go up to one of the actual oil funnel things, turn it on and cook it right there, or place down a palm bonfire and cook it there. Keep in mind, you will need cooking one for this. So you'll have to invest 20 XP into that. I would like to thank all of you for the amazing amount of support on the video and especially since we hit 1,000 subscribers. I had no idea we would ever reach this amount and it's all thanks to you, so thank you. Hope you enjoyed this top five tips. Thank you for watching and bye.